they have temporary crashes. They're like 5%, 10%. These are not major crashes, even though SPX investors think they're massive crashes. They're not. And people keep predicting there's going to be a long-term crash or a huge massive crash, but that's not been the case right now. And I can tell you what's going on based on the historical precedent. So if you look at this chart, not on a daily basis, but on, let's say, monthly basis, right? This is what happens. This is what this chart looks like. So we've had, for the first time, maybe second time, and this was in 2017, 2018, for the second time since 2003, we've had quantitative tightening, serious quantitative tightening, which has gone on for a prolonged period of time. And you can also see the shape of the curve is changing. We're tending towards a minima where it looks like it might tend upwards. But again, I must reiterate, I don't have a crystal ball. Nobody has a crystal ball. The crystal ball does not exist. This thing right here does not exist, okay? So um, we don't know what's going to happen, but what is, what is likely to happen is if they don't lower the interest rates and if quantitative easing does not happen anytime soon, you're gonna see a lot of panic, a lot of disrest in the markets. Interest rates are pretty high. You can also see, the data related to real estate, what's happening right now, there's sort of a glut. No one's calling it that just yet, except me. But there's sort of a glut. People are not really buying property.